goes, even though nobody goes there. Neha. Ah, boy, I'll see you. Ha, thank you. Um. Before this video starts, I wanted to let you guys know that I've been in Asia. I've been in China specifically for about a month. I came here to meet the Guilin women and pick up their hair products to be able to put on my website. And I will be in China for about another week and a half. So the last of this stuff is on my website. I'll link my websites down below. I have a hair specific website and then I have my travel website. The products are available on both. Uh, they'll be available for about another week and then everything will be sold out and I'm never selling it again because I'll be out of China. I won't be able to. So um, yeah, this stuff is available if you're interested in getting anything. Uh, this is the rice water recipe the Guilin women use. It prevents your hair from ever turning gray and it grows your hair like crazy. Um, anyways, check out my Guilin Yao Women video to get an in-depth explanation of what all this stuff is, but it's all available for about one more week and then it'll be sold out and i'll never have it again some people were asking will you have it again no because i won't be back in china this year after i leave so yeah it's available for about another week i'll link it's on both my travel website and my hair website hey guys uh i just wanted to quickly talk about i don't know everything going on in the world right now it's so crazy because i i've felt this way for um years i've been traveling the world for almost eight years consistently. Um, I've been to over 120 countries and been living life, not just hearing about it. I actually am, although I'm on the online world, I'm not a, really a part of it. I deleted my Instagram. I'm not really on anything besides YouTube. Um, well, actually, my Instagram got deleted, you guys know, because I posted myself with the Taliban and then YouTube deleted, Instagram deleted my account. And then I attempted to make another one. And then I was like, you know what? I don't even care about this app anymore. Um, but that's what jump started it for sure. Uh, so not even on Instagram. I don't have anything besides YouTube. I would never in my life download, never downloaded, never been on TikTok. Don't have Facebook, nothing. I, I'm, I'm actually living in real life. But when sometimes I do go down a rabbit hole and I see what's going on in the world, um, I'm just like, Tch. us humans, are we're very interesting species. I don't know how we evolved to become like where we get, we have such strong opinions and we get all of our information from online without it being tested without it ever being involved in the situation um yeah so anyways all this talk about world war three all this talk about china all this talk about uh, stuff like that and honestly i think we already are in world war three i think it's already started um I think this war is going to look a lot different than World War One and World War Two, mind you. When World War One and World War Two were happening, nobody knew they were in World War Two. It was after the fact; they just knew this was going on, that is going on, but no one actually knew we we're in World War Two when it was happening. I think it'll be the same with World War Three. I don't think there's going to be an event that's like, oh. It has started world war three officially no i it's not an official thing i think it started and i think this world war the third one is going to it exists mainly online i already see it i already see it you guys what does it matter what reality is in 2024 if everyone's saying the exact opposite narrative for example, Afghanistan, my second favorite country. It doesn't matter what Afghanistan actually is. No, it does matter in reality, but not online. Everyone has already made up their mind about Afghanistan, even though it's one of the most, it is the least traveled country in the world. But everyone knows about it somehow. Every, they all know about the Taliban. Everyone knows how women are treated. Everyone knows, even though nobody goes there. 
，你好，啊，不要，谢谢，好，再见。嗯、um, ，That's the people asking me if they want me if they wanted to turn down service, which I don't need. Anyways, sometimes I just think about God looking down at the earth. And I know he he said he would never ruin it again. When he looked at the earth, when Noah, when this is the when the earth was still very young,、um, he looked at Noah and he said,、uh, "I I regret making people, and I'm gonna kill everybody because I genuinely regret making humans." He said everyone was killing each other. Everyone hated one another. Everyone was loved sin and hated God and. And and he looked at the world and he said, "I just regret making it. I regret making no. He didn't regret making the world. He regretted making humans. And he said, 'I don't want this seed to go on. I I'm ashamed. So I'm going to kill everybody.' And he said, 'Noah was the only righteous man. He said, 'Noah, take all of your sons, your wife, your wife's sons, get on a boat, and I'm going to make it rain.'" And at the time, you've got to understand, no one knew what rain was. It had never rained before. He said, "I'm gonna make water fall out of the sky." Everyone was laughing. Yeah, okay. I honestly think, when God looks down, now things might be worse than when He said He was going to destroy everyone. But He promised Noah He was never going to. Kill everyone again," he said. "I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to end the world in in rain ever again. He already promised that. But I think when he looks down, I think he sees worse. It's just everyone. If you blow up, if you zoom out, right? All us humans know is Earth. We don't know anything." Beyond Earth, Earth is our world. So, if you zoom out as far as you possibly can, what does that look like? Countries, countries are as far as we can zoom out on our planet. Countries are no country. We're at war with each other. It's China is against Ukraine. It's in 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 Iran is. Is teamed up with Russia. And Russia's on China's side, and and the U.S. is on this side. And the U.S. is is team Russia, and and Israel is on that team, and that team, and Iraq's on that team, and Afghanistan is here. And like countries are feuding. If you zoom in a little bit more, all right, countries. You zoom in, cultures, cultures feud with each other. You know, within the same people in the same cultures are still feuding. If you zoom in more. Races,、uh, groups, people are feuding within their own racial group. Zoom in a little bit more. Families, families are feuding. Families feud with each other, compete with each other, and, and lie on each other, and, and turn on each other within families.、They're、throwing back what they, what they got, and. The world is. I think world. That's what I'm saying about World War Three. I think we're already in it, because I think it's mainly digital. It's China is killing babies. China is doing this, and it's believed. People are really believing it, and it's and it doesn't matter what's actually going on because none of that stuff is going on here. I'm telling you, Chinese people are so low key. Chinese people are so chill. But everyone makes them the big bad wolf. Everyone makes them the scapegoat for everything because I don't know. They're so far away, and they don't feel the need to defend themselves, and that's so crazy. That's something God's been working on me、um, about. Actually, God has been teaching me recently about not defending yourself. I think there's a lot of beauty, and I think there's a lot of、uh, humility and courage in not defending yourself, not feeling it. You know how many times I've wanted to come on here and make a video. Defending myself, or explaining something, or slandering somebody—you know, there, there, there are times. There have been many times that I've wanted to come on my YouTube channel because, you know, you get, 
you, you know you're going to get that justification you're looking for when something's done wrong to you. And I've wanted to talk about people and say what somebody said to me or what somebody did to me. And this and this happened to me. And this person did this to me. And this person did me dirty. And this person did this. And I wanted to show you all the receipts. And I wanted to do this. And God, nope, clearly said to me, Mary Jane, nope, nope, shut your mouth, nope. And I'd be like, but God, nope, but God is it? Nope. Shut your mouth, Mary Jane. Keep your mouth shut. But God, this person did this and they said this. You think I don't know that, Mary Jane? You think I don't know? Because God is the ultimate judge. He's the ultimate justifier. But if you want to take things in your own hands, he'll let you. Some, And he says that in his word. If you want to take this into your own hands, go ahead. You handle it. But I'm going to tell you something. I would have done a way better job. And I ask you to love people. I ask you to forgive people. One of my favorite verses is uh, 1 Peter. And I think this... Now, are countries ever going to act like this? No. But I think this is how we change the world. We do it as individuals, right? Because the, the world is a bunch of individuals, if you think about it. It's just a bunch of us. We're only one person. So if we look at the world as far as us and what we can do, we can change it, right? But it's probably doomed. I mean, it is doomed. It's in the word. <laughs> There's only going to be more and more and more hate. There's only going to be more and more wars and more everything. So anyways, and the earth is, is reacting. It says in the Bible that the, the earth is reacting to us. The earth is going to have keep having more earthquakes and more natural disasters, more tsunamis. You're gonna, we're going to see more and more and more and more forest fires. It's the earth throwing us up because every, no one's taking the high road. The high road is shut your mouth. The high road is, yeah, you hurt me, but I'm not going to react to you. The high road is, let me keep focusing on myself and gardening my own garden before I tell you about your how you're not doing it right. So anyways, uh, I think this is helpful. This, so I'm going to read this verse um, in First Peter, which is one of my favorite books. Um, but it says, do not repay evil with evil. Do not repay insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. You Do you hear this? This is saying when somebody does you dirty, bless them. Because this is who you were called to be so that you may inherit my blessing. Understand that. God is saying, yeah, I know somebody did you wrong. But I'm telling you to love that person. I'm not only telling you to love that person. I'm telling you to make it nothing. Make it nothing. Make it nothing. Whatever that person did to you, completely drop it. This is something I told you. God told me. Let it go. Mind your business. Yeah, it says whoever. Yeah, for whoever would love life and wants to see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. That means talking about other people. It says all throughout the book of Proverbs, shut your mouth. A wise person knows how to shut up. Just shut up. That right there is a life key. If more people could just shut up, shut your mouth, and just literally keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward in who you know you're supposed to be and your goals, hustle, that's another thing. So many people have so much time on their hands. They have no success. So all they can do is sit and talk. Like, I, I, I can't imagine that people sit and talk about other countries and they've never been. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Never. A wise person knows how to shut their mouth. I think we're in World War III. World War III, I'm telling you, it's digital. World War III is not going to be like World War I and World War II. World War III exists online. It's this person did this, that person did that, that one did this, uh, that did that, cancel this one, that person did this, uh, China's this, China's that, China kills babies, China eats dogs. None of this stuff is true. They do not eat dogs. Um, Israel said this, Israel and Gaza that, and did it. World War Three is digital, you guys, and it's already started. Now, is it playing itself out in the physical world? Absolutely it is, but it's all instigated online. 100% is instigated online online we're in world war three 
and most of the fuel and most of the ammunition is being sent online and all of this is being instigated online when none of it's true china <sighs> no one comes over here to know anything everyone has something to say but they've never even been here because if they came here they would be like oh this place is actually kind of nice people are nice the government's nice people are happy i was joking the other day when i made a short and i said i don't know if this is illegal it is legal to talk to people about jesus i was preaching the word on the train and to more than one person when the when the person across the, the person across the aisle saw me preaching the word and she said can you tell me what you're preaching to her this is legal i was joking now are christians a little bit more hard to find in asia i don't think so i don't find many christians these days even in the states so i it might be equal i don't know but people just make stuff up um whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil shut your mouth and their uh and their lips from deceitful speech they must turn from evil and do good they must seek peace seek peace they must what a concept they must seek peace you want to know what mary jane barb is doing on a regular basis seeking peace not even seeking peace i have peace i'm maintaining my peace that's why i'm not on social media that's why i don't engage in, in in wars in my own life right that i could easily engage in i told you guys so many times i wanted to come on here and drag people through the mud there's so many times i wanted to drag people i wanted to and i know i'd be vindicated and i know i would get a lot of views and i had receipts and i want to tell about i want to tell you what this person did to me and i want to tell you what that person did to me and god is this mary jane mary jane shut 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 your up Talk about traveling. Talk about your little trips. Talk about your little trips. Inspire people. To, to, to inspire people. Help people. Don't spread more hate. God is like, you think I need more slandering coming out of somebody's mouth? That's the last thing God needs. He's looking for somebody who's going to turn from evil and do good. Somebody who's going to seek peace and pursue it. I love my peace so much. That's why I'm not on social media. That's why I don't engage in the little wars, little fires the devil tries to set for me all the time. And he's doing it to all of us. He's doing it to everyone. He's going to set little fires for you all the time to see if, if you'll jump on it, if you'll ignite it. And he's like, ah, I got him. All I had to do was set a little fire. All I had to do was have somebody say something, the wrong thing to them. Or I don't know. What but I'm telling you, it's instigation. And we see it playing itself out between countries but think about the wars that already exist within zoom in cultures zoom in countries themselves zoom in families nobody's united everyone is against the whole internet is just people talking about people this person this as if that's gonna do something and it's just people just dragging people and talking about people and this and that and gossiping and slandering and the word you know how many times this bible especially in proverbs i encourage you guys even if you're not a christian to read the book of proverbs oh it's just absolute the best life advice look how much i have you know how many times You know many times that uh, this book of Proverbs says, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Your own tongue will get you in the most problems in your life. Don't just open your mouth and see what comes out. And I think this is very difficult in the era we live in. We live in the world, we live in the social media digital era and people have platforms and you can get on the internet and you can say things and you probably will have if you say the right things you can get yourself a big audience all you have to say are the trigger words you know you have to talk bad about somebody boom you'll get lots of views or you have to engage in some kind of hot topic like china like i don't know why people are so obsessed with china they're literally the most non-bothered people i've ever met in my life honestly Every, everyone talks this and this about Chinese people and Chinese people just mind their business honestly there's not even YouTube or Instagram here I have to use 
do you know what i have to go through on a daily basis to upload a video while i'm here in china because everything's blocked because they're literally they mind theirs chinese people care about chinese people and chinese problems they're not worried about the world the way the world's worried about them anyways like i was saying about my boyfriend he taught me that how attractive and how beautiful and and here's the thing the more somebody talks the less valuable their words are when somebody is slow to speak which it says so many times in in the bible so many times it says be very slow to speak and very slow to anger um shut your mouth listening is okay listening is fine listening is great but keep your mouth shut it's a sign of knowledge it's a sign of wisdom so yeah anyways my boyfriend definitely taught me to be a listener and not a talker to make my words more valuable instead of just spewing anything out my boyfriend before he says anything he thinks long by the way uh, anyways like i was saying make sure your words are valuable and that's how do you make sure your words are valuable you don't talk that much you don't just open your mouth and see what comes out honestly and like that's what the world is that's what the world is you guys that's what the world is because we live on a social media era and everyone has a platform everyone has a platform to speak and put it on the internet people it makes them feel good and 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 judging other people somehow makes them feel good and like i said there were so many times god has wanted me to shut my mouth where i wanted to come on the internet so many times and say what somebody did to me and hash out this situation hash out that situation and show receipts defend myself or just talk about a subject that popular subject or maybe there was a celebrity that i was just like oh they're a mess let me i should make a video about this or that or this i should drag this person i should drag that person person i should talk about what somebody did to me in my personal life or or i should defend myself against this and that and god has said every time no shut it shut it this and he's and god has blessed me and i'm telling god has blessed me so much so much in so many ways but especially for me when i learned to shut my mouth and i learned to not get angry that it takes so much willpower to not get angry and just let life be life let's just let life be life take things as they come i don't get angry that much anymore and i tell you i used to be a ball of anger everyone used to offend me everyone used to hurt my feelings everyone 